thing, too, is that in the last weekend for singles, South America was ahead of the curve because everyone was playing Axe. And Hammer. And Hammer. Hammer won. And so now I'm like, okay, well, now that we're here in twos, we're almost for certain going to see those same weapons. Well, whatever the case is, I can expect you from South America to be trailblazing what the meta is going to look at. And another thing... Uh, or look like, rather. And another thing that I'm seeing here, as we get this really crazy offstage scrap, hold on, weapon throw comes down, Sack can make it back, everybody's okay, off the word. side of the stage, saved by Sack, West manages to make it back, what an awesome edge, offstage edge guard there. Um, Fiend on the Queen Nine. Fiend's picked Queen Nine in the past. I think Queen Nine is more relevant than ever before because of dash landing, I agree. remedying uh, movement speed. And so it's cool to see Fiend bring that out in twos. That could also be a pick that becomes more popular because signature potential from Queen Nine, all of those weaknesses go away when you have a teammate to throw them into those long lasting moves. Yeah, it's a weird thing with Queen Nine because I feel like no matter how much you're able to buff people's ground movement, where she sucks is always going to be. In the air. It's yeah, always the going drift. To be in the air. And so, yeah. like, her getting off stage is always going to feel miserable. It doesn't matter if she can zip to the ground faster. She's going to get capitalized on in the same scenarios that I feel like she has to be exceptionally strong in other areas to make the pick worth it. But Fiend, no stranger to playing this legend, already trying to get something going here. Tries to go for an off stage ground pound with Katars on Queen Nye. Clearly a braver man than I. Yeah, and News has been on two stocks deep in red for a, a couple seconds now. Cider weapon throw will take him down, and Fiend gets spiked off the bottom of the side of the stage Ooh. but no the stare surprises west and west reaching forward with the with the neutral air uh just narrowly avoids the downlight from fiend and it's a four stock to four situation uh, now it's looking a little bit more oh. the recovery comes through and news takes a beating okay yeah and news needs to be careful i mean you already got one stock here you cannot take this abuse news managing to find a stock there though and west on these boots trying to see if he can get back onto the stage biding some time comes in gets that neutral light falls up with the side light the down air as well weapon throw's not going to lamp the unarmed west? down air will but he went a little bit too hard in the paint and he's going to suffer for it <laughs> he, just, he just kept going until he hit the blast zone he was never going to jump again uh has a second uh, last stock to play with and news does go down um, but Fiend in this 1v2 against Sack and West. Let's see how he's able to play this. The Jeez. body slam coming through there. Ground pound. Did he touch? He did. Weapon throw covers his head, and West lets him back. And West now slide charge, pivoting the side stick, trying to take him off the side of the stage. And this is just a relentless edge guard. I mean, Fiend is getting damaged, dude, but they are not letting him land. And like that, blasted off the left side of the stage. Sack and West have one last stock to take down to take the lead here in game game one. All right, West, Sack, show me what you lagged. Oh, you already messed up. Yeah, that's take, two. Not... take two, take yeah, two. <laughs> yeah, it moved a little too forward there. Got kind of ahead of himself. Okay, I like that side light there. Goes for the downer oh, again, okay. but I think that was the eye. eye. Yeah. Yeah, the double gauntlets is it's rough when you're trying to combo somebody from from light damage. Especially Queen Nye. You got a lot of, a lot of beef to get through. Oh. Fiend's doing so well, well so far. I mean, yeah, I like that idea with the side stick there. He's just got to clip sack once, and that's a doable one view. That's a one v one for Fiend. Yeah, well, oh, actually, and, oh, I saw it. I saw the star frames. A little purple lightning energy. <gasps> the no, spike on the there is just enough. How did he hit that hard, man? Nye. Nye does have a lot That's of force. True. We were talking about the drift, which we could see right now. <laughs> it's pitiful. Oh, what? No, he nares again. Oh, my Northern God. Y'all throw it. I swear to God, y'all throw it. Oh, West goes off stage with the gauntlets. It's Queen Nye, never die. Oh, my goodness. Side light goes for the recovery. Fiend dodges the. I love the the slow walk out of the way of the weapon throw. Oh gosh! And I mean, at this point, oh. like Fiend, uh, gonna keep the guitars here. I mean, you go for Whoa. like one side light and light, and you get the read right, and that's <gasps> the, oh. That's it. It, yep, yep, yep. That was uh. That was brave. <laughs> yes, that is one word for it, right? Because if West mistimed, I think he caught him with the like very end of the boots down light to avoid getting hit by that side stick. There, we'll see it in just a second. Yeah, it was like decided to, to let it rip so close to connecting with what with what would have been. Oh, yeah, like <laughs> that was just a fifth. It was like you got like, frame data <laughs> in that moment. I, I think that was too close to say one player reacted to the other yeah, I in agree. that sense. Like like they both just landed and let their move go and boots one in that situation. He picked the faster one. He picked the light attack. Yeah. Fiend picked the heavy one. Yeah, which um, which happened to work out there for Wes. And if it didn't. Queen Nye strong enough that I think that would have gone through. And so we see on the stances here, we're talking about Queen Nye's movement speed. He has taken out of defense to get into that four movement speed, but we you can still see the effects of a character like that. And in fact, I don't I don't really think I saw Fiend like like if Fiend did like a pivot dash land 
get the slide for the side sig there, maybe that could have been different. Mm. But a lot of Fiend's movement has actually been rather traditional. Yeah, as I'd far agree. as uh, how Brawlhalla movement goes. Like well, there, there's some dash landing across the stage to help his teammate, but but in that in that one one exchange, I'd say there wasn't too much coming out. Oh, oh. geez. What the heck? Okay, that was Grab Cancel Neutral Sig, right? What is that going just like on? the neutral sig like spiked him in the ground, but he didn't make it over the edge. So yeah. like he couldn't go into the stage. I've never seen that. that weird. And yeah, getting some odd scenarios happening here that you haven't really seen before, but nice interrupt. Despite that, I mean West finding the recovery with those boots and a side hair on his teammate as well. I like the pass. No follow-up from Sackler. If he got that D light, that probably would have been Fiend's stock. So Fiend's gonna be happy about that one. Side lights hair, not enough. Ooh, and Fiend goes down first. A little different from last game, and I don't know if that's a good change for the red team as News uh, gets dared right afterwards. And Fiend was doing a great job as a stock tank before. Can he make up for it? One recovery comes through. A second recovery would just take down West. Well, Wes, all right. Showing off some movement there. Yeah, My he's goodness. like, I can move. That, that was an example of using that dash land and then, like, in the momentum of the dash, neutral lighting afterwards, trying to catch somebody out of... Uh, off guard. Oh no, team comp opportunity and Fiend didn't react to News hitting that side light. Still, they do get some damage in. Okay, and I like this down air coming out from News. Sack trying to follow here. Wes keeps finding these openings. And Fiend, I, watching Nai can be so funny sometimes because she's just chasing nice people around the stage. And when she finally gets close to someone, she ends oh, up in situations like these. Throw? Oh, Sack came with the save, but then News came in with the counter hit. And that ends up working out for the red team. Yeah, like you were saying watching Queen Eye off stage, and that was just like a whole hilarious interaction that actually ended up turning into a really complex one where like Sack went in for the ground pound to help Wes confirm the knockout, yes. and then News was there the entire time saying, I knew this was going to happen. And uh, I knew this was going to happen. That's <laughs> exactly what he was thinking. Uh, oh! oh! Ground pound comes through, though, and he didn't, he did not, uh, it doesn't work in the same context there. <laughs> if I was going to say he didn't news that it is, one. Yeah, it's, it's really, one. that's a newsy. Oh. Uh, that, Even that game great. by stocks, not necessarily by damage. And everybody's just kind of hitting everyone stacked at the moment. Stack manages to make it back, but I think he's uh, it's pretty hard. Delight recovery would definitely do. Oh, double silent recovery! What the heck? News just like that off the top of the stage. Feed in a one v two again. With and now it doesn't, it doesn't matter that Sack is is this damage. So what is he gonna do? Oh, dunked into the ground. Skull shattered, sent flying off the right side of the stage. It's so funny to me that Tesca neutral signature is better to not spike with. Yeah. I think it's good. So Tesca's got a lot of reversals in his kit, in the signature kit. I know I know that like from a balance perspective, it would really suck if at yellow, neutral sig just sends you somewhere, right? So like if you go off stage, you, you kind of just like position them off stage. They don't really go very far. It's meant to be used on stage as a knockout move there, which is why Wes likes to go for it. But still. Surprises me a lot still. Yeah, no, it's definitely one of those moves where it's like, one, one of the most satisfying moves in the game. I think if there's I anything... I think most of Tesco's signatures yeah, are. Yeah, I think he, he kind of checks that box for like pretty much all of his SIGs, really. I, I think that was one of the best things about his design is that you drop kick somebody, pretty satisfying. You dunk the, somebody. The down SIG on boots yeah. where you get like the... the <laughs> you literally break their back. Oh, oh, you can feel the stretch. Oh, yes, man. Uh, it's rough. Tough spines. Boots are, are, are working out nice. Um, I think... Okay, so News is making the adaptation here, which is interesting. Fiend's really confident with the Nye going into this matchup here, whereas News is saying, okay, I've been knocking out so early on the Diana, and we haven't been seeing the Blasters get any setups. So there was moments where, like, he literally was sidelining somebody in front of Fiend's face, and Fiend just didn't respond, right? So he's, he's going over to a character that has a little bit more time to react to those things. Like when, I guess, I don't know, Blasters had end light too. I don't know. I guess this is just a, when in doubt, pick Olgrim, and it's yeah. probably good in two. I mean, we've, obviously we just finished EU, oh. so we've seen plenty of that. Wes yeah. gonna make it back to the stage here. Neutral save from Nye. Oh. Hitting the teammate, I think, there. Yeah, and then stuff recovery. Wes tried to go for a double dip on the ground pound, and Zach just chasing Fiend to the sky. Weapon throw pickup. Goes for the second wow, weapon, weapon throw. throw. That was pretty critical to save News from taking too much damage there, I think. Yeah, and this one's gonna be a little bit tougher. Neutral save coming Whoa. out. Wes just backflipping underneath Fiend's down sig there. Doesn't get the punish. Ooh, you can see these. N6, not quite finding the mark, but you can see what Sack wants in the next patch, though. That's going to be a little bit harder to find KOs with, so I understand getting your hits in now. Oh, and Onyx? Yeah. 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 There's a lot of things that I've been thinking about today with how much Lance that I've been seeing. Mm. Where I'm like, I wonder, wonder what this is going to look like in a double space. Like, see the distance that News just got there? 
I don't even think you'll be able to travel off the side of the stage. I think it's like the impulse is like, I guess I've seen it earlier than other people, but we about like 20% of that distance. <laughs> well, if you miss, if it hits, it's fine. But back to this, though. We're not in the next patch. We're in the current patch. And in this patch, Lance Sayer goes far into the cannon ground pound yeah. off the bottom of the stage. Right into the loving grasp of that cannon. There we go. Sack Ooh. getting a nice little conversion here. I like the conversion to the down air, not the recovery, to maybe set up for an extended edge guard. Yeah. But doesn't quite find it. It was a good idea, though. I liked it. I mean, Fiend took a ton of damage, and that's great for, for the blue team here in terms of comeback potential because West End went down to one stock pretty early on when uh, Sack got the ground pound uh, onto News. And it's been four stocks to three for a bit. <laughs> okay, every time I talk about it, West. How is West keep. News has got a. <laughs> West has been reading his dodges so hard with a double gauntlet sidelight and a recovery that yes. he's like he's like actually realizing I don't need to go for damage here. I can. A nice, nice edge guard from Fiend, but he's like, I can actually carry him up to the top of the stage and take these stocks out and work. He's done it twice now. Which, I mean, at this point, it's like maybe a. Uh got to recognize the pattern that's happening, right? Maybe a little mm -hmm. too late now at this point because you're up 2-0, West and Sac. I mean, at this point, behind by a little bit, but News has a decent amount of damage racked oh. up. And Fiend is trailing not too far behind. That was almost a precarious scenario for West, but uh, manages to get out, so congratulations. Oh. And Neutral, I come out from the boots, does knock out. Team co team combo opportunity on the news here. Goes for gravity, catch a sidelight, and Sac was ready. Oh, West chasing News to the top of the blast zone again, and that's where he's been weak. Manages to get out this time, but can he survive any longer? Wes is the most damaged on the screen, yet somehow I still feel like he's the most terrifying. Yeah, I'm like not scared for him for some reason. And maybe oh, it's because Fiend, oh, gives him the dodge. He's gonna go for the down oh, here. No. Oh, the end oh. is even better than the down -sing. He gets the spike and the ground pounce. Oh. News went down there. He had to go down there to save him. He had to, if, if he didn't save Fiend, there just, there was no chance. And then Wes was just ready. You look. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're in pain after that one. What do you think? I just knew it. I because it, it was from the first right moment, right? Oh, that was so good because it was it was reading the guitar.